Right, let's go for this test. Yeah, it was a tough one, I thought. Um, some of you did really well. Um, so really well done. And shows that you're managing to to learn without me, which is always good. Um, that's what we need for the future. Anyway, question one. And I almost already got that right. Um, which travels faster, sound or light? It's light. Next one, number two. I think most of you got that one. Which travels slower, sound or the ripples? Well, it's the ripples in the water. Um, yeah, sound can't travel through a vacuum. Most of you got that one right. Well done. Then this was the one where you first had to write something down. Um, what happens to light which does not go into the glass block? You get a reflected ray here. So a glass is shiny, therefore it reflects. Therefore some light passes through, but you get a reflected ray. You probably saw that if you played on the uh, on the little simulator that we used. So, so the answer is reflected there. Um, number, um, or as light goes through, what's, what's the name? That's refraction. So when it bends, it's refraction. And yeah, red is the one where it, um, yeah, would be the highest. So which colour will be highest on the screen? Red, because it bends the least. It refracts the least. Blue refracts the most. That's why the sky is blue, remember. Um, seven. The pupil puts a green filter in the, in the way of a, of a white light. What happens to the spectrum on, on the screen? Well, only green light can pass through a green filter. Therefore, um, the spectrum will disappear apart from green will be there. So the green part of the spectrum stays the same, but the other colours disappear. They can't get through the filter. OK, a lot of you struggled on this one. Um, you know, so the pupil looks through again. It'd be easy if you had it, had it on paper, but if you if you if you drew a line there and up to here and up to here, it comes to point D. Um, if you if you if you get a lot of you put point E, but if you draw a line through there, it's going to get kind of get blocked by this wall. So yeah, it's point D. Is that one? Uh, what color of light is obtained when equal amounts of red and blue? It's magenta. That's just knowledge. Number ten. Um, yeah, the pitch is is. Faster vibrations, so higher pitch, ee, vibrating faster. My, my vocal cords were vibrating faster then when I went high pitch. Mm, low pitch, slower vibrations. Um, then the hard one, which um, again, a lot of you got two more. Most of you got one more, I think it's pretty meters. But I've got a speed. Speed equals distance divided by time. So time equals... Uh, e Sorry, distance equals speed times um, time. So I need to times 1500 by 0.005. That comes in at 7.5 meters. But that's the time taken. You know, this 0.05 um, would that would measure the the distance to the sea floor and then back again. So you need to halve it. So the answer is half of 7.5 meters, um, which is um, 3.25 into meters. Um, the boat moved into very deep water. Explain why the effective pulse is too weak to be detected. Waves spread out and they disperse. So you can't just say they become too weak because it says too weak in the question. So yeah, the waves are spreading out. You get this spreading out effect. Okay. Um, diagram shows a bicycle reflector. It's, it's a retro reflector. In which direction is the ray of light reflected when it comes in? It hits and bounces back parallel to the incident ray. So same as the incident ray would get a mark ideally parallel to. Um, at night, car drivers can easily be seen um, because it yeah because it gets reflected back to their eyes. So kind of the same question again, really. You know, something about being reflected back, ideally to to the driver's eye. A plane mirror is not suitable because it would be reflected at away from the incident ray. It would come in, and then you'd have your normal, and then it'll go away again. So it'd be yeah, something about being reflected away from the um, observer. Um, what colour will a yellow object look when viewed through a red filter? Well, only red light can pass through a red filter. Therefore, it will look red. OK, and what colour will blue object look through a cyan filter? Well, a cyan filter, cyan is a mixture of green and blue. So a green light can pass through it and blue light can pass through it. So. Yeah, if the object is blue, blue it will still be seen as blue through a cyan filter. Tricky one, that one. Um, how many complete waves? A lot of you struggle on this. In B, um, it's the number of peaks. One, two. 
or you can go there's one so i'm starting on this line and i'm going up down up so that's one wave up down up two waves it's two waves not one a lot of you put one for that some of you put four as well you were counting peaks and troughs so decide how many so you know in a there's one wave in c there's one two three four five six waves yeah just count the peaks in future um which screen showed a wave pattern with the lowest frequency well that's the least squashy so that's a a has also got the highest amplitude um a wave has a frequency of 0.3 hertz how many waves will pass in a minute so 0.3 hertz that's 0.3 peaks per second so a hertz is a wave per second okay so if i get 0.3 in a, in a in a second then times by 60 that's 18 waves per minute 18 was the answer which is the longest wavelength again microwaves x-rays are very short ultraviolet is very short um gamma is also very short microwaves is only the yeah is easily the longest it's the only one that's too you know that's beyond the red all these are, are before um violet did did you like my violet indigo joke no, no word. Um, and then a a wave has a frequency of 25 kilohertz. Well, kilo, if it's a kilometer, that's a thousand meters. So kilo means thousand. So we've got 25,000 hertz, 25,000 cycles per second. If I've only got one hundredth of a second, then 25,000 divided by 100 is 250. Tricky one, that one. You have to know what, I'm, I'm testing, do, do you know what, what, what kilo is and what a hertz is? So that's understanding that that and then the disappointing one was really the last one the large explosion takes place Exp explain why the observer would see the explosion first then feel the ground shake and finally hear the explosion so it's explained so a lot of you said you know light travels faster than sound but that does get a mark um and then um the ground um is faster than the sound uh, than the um than the air but you, you, you need to explain the answer and say that Know that the particles are closer together in a solid and therefore um, the sound waves travel faster through denser materials remember when we did the like the summary revision sound travels faster in denser materials so if you talked about denser materials then you would have got three marks but very few of you did get three marks on that question so really well done if you did some of you wrote a line or typed a line you know it's three marks okay I know these tests might not look important, but you know all all this all this data stays with you. You know, and our current year eleven who've left and not got GCSEs. You know, for for some for some of those students who'd you know who'd who'd been very ill during year eleven. You know, we even went back to like tests from year nine um, and and for a, and a quick look in year eight as well. Just because we're trying to give them a you know a fair grade based on their ability and if you've been ill in year eleven so again really well 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 done if you're trying hard um, and um, I know it's tricky but yeah I'll also stop there. <laughs>